La guacamaya for you. Thank you very much. to have you guys play in my time slot on the radio and uh, I'm just thrilled um, I read that you had studied is it Son Yarocho in Mexico? Yeah, it's uh, pronounced Son Jarocho Jarocho and uh, yeah uh, Son Jarocho is a style of music um, they call it Mexico Son Son is kind of a word we use to describe music so it could be Son Cubano or Son uh, Mexicano so in this particular uh, instance Son Jarocho is, is the, they call it the music of Mexico and it basically comes from the state of Veracruz, and it's played on these little guitars that I'm playing called jaranas. And jaranas are basically Baroque guitars that came over from Spain, and when they came over to the Americas, they shrunk in size a little bit and, uh, and developed a more percussive kind of style of playing. 
And uh, Son Jarocho is an interesting kind of music because it's the only uh, one of the uh, only Afro uh, Mexican mu uh, kinds of music in, in Mexico. So it incorporates uh, a bit of indigenous, a bit of African, a bit of Arabic, which would come from Spain, and a bit of uh, stuff that was also from Spain, that's, you know, obviously in Spanish. And so it's kind of morphed himself into this its own very unique style of music. And then you've morphed it again a bit more to a little bit, to a bit of a north yeah. northwest. Sort Normally of feel you wouldn't to it. play it with horns, and you, uh, congas would be definitely a, a more modern addition. Normally it would be capo jaranas and then uh, a requinto, which is a, another little a guitar that you. It's more like a, a lead guitar, um, but they also use the fiddle and they use a donkey jaws percussion. And, yeah. Anyway, but to answer your question, yes, I went down there to study that. <laughs> wow, I'm very long-winded. Sorry. My, uh, yeah. Well, you, said, you answered my second question, which is yeah. going to be: Can you describe some of the elements of that? So we'll skip right on go. by that. And uh, <laughs> um, these these songs, have you you've written them, and then are maybe you can describe a bit of the process of writing them? Do you then bring them to the band? Who then? Sure. What sort of collaboration um, that happens there? Basically, um, well, the. the the traditional repertoire that we play, with, there's a handful of them that we do from the Son Jarocho repertoire, and uh, but the other stuff is stuff um, that I've, I've written and either arranged myself or brought to the band, and, and we come up with a band arrangement. Or there's been other times that something just sort of happens. So this one piece we we play that uh, Robin, our, our percussionist, wrote on the marimba. He also plays marimba, and uh, so some stuff just sort of uh, some people like I bring to the band, or someone else brings to the band, or or it sort of kind of happens organically. Um, but for the first uh, little while, it was mostly uh, kind of me in my house <laughs> writing stuff. And then I worked with a producer out of Victoria named Joby Baker, and we kind of orchestrated and produced the whole thing. Right. I think it's worth men mentioning to people who aren't here right now, who are just listening on the radio, that this is actually a seven-piece band with brass, although they, the promo shot only shows five. So it's a, uh, it's a big band, and so it's definitely worthwhile coming down and seeing Only the five best-looking made the cut for the yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll just I'll just um, ask a little bit about what's going on in the future for you guys. Do you have recordings? Uh, yeah, so we have a one record uh, currently, but it's already a couple years old, and uh, so we we have a bunch of new songs. We're really excited about uh, going and recording, and just waiting for some rich person to give us money to record it, or the Canada Council, one of the two. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, so just basically carving out some time and, and finding a budget, and then we'll go back into the studio to uh, to make a record with this particular lineup. Great. Well, thank you. It's so nice to have you here. It's, uh, oh, it's, a, it's a real thrill to, to have you play, especially on my side. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Well, we'll leave you with one here from the Son Jarocho repertoire. Uh, this is a tune called La Guacamaya. Guacamaya is uh, Spanish for macaw. And this particular macaw is very sad because he's run out of food. I should introduce everyone real quick, if that's okay with you. On the trombone, that's Rod Murray. Trumpet, that's Mr. Malcolm, I feel very bad this morning, Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> on, on percussion congas, uh, that's Mr. Robin Lane. Also on percussion, and later on he'll be on uh, kit, uh, Mr. Liam McDonald. Over here on the fiddle and singing Miss Calissa Landa. And on the fish, on the bass, Mr. Fito Garcia. Thank you very much for coming out. Um, when we first got here, there was nobody, and I, uh, so it feels really nice you all showed up. Um, we're doing another thing this afternoon. I don't know where or when, and then... Ringside. 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 That sounds like a fight. <laughs> first, and, and we asked somebody, where are we going? They said, Joking Park. And I, I was like, really? They're having us on. And it really is Joe slash King Park. Anyway, um, and then tonight at the uh, at the farm, which I've been told is one of the most beautiful spots on on Earth. So we're looking forward to that. La guacamaya for you. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four.